everyone, today we're going to be talking about the trailer for Doctor Who that's just been announced that's going to include the brand new titles, as well as what Stephen Moffat recently said about Doctor Who representation, and Russell T. Davis's recent comments involving a B for Me plush and more merchandise. But before we get into it, if you could do a teeny tiny little favour and click that subscribe button, it'd be very much appreciated. We are trying to get to 25,000 subscribers before Season 1 or Series 14 airs, and any support would be greatly appreciated on that front. We've seen a massive increase in subscribers over the last couple of days, and I can't thank you enough for that. Let's just get right into this. So yeah, the first thing that got announced, a brand new trailer, 8 episode titled this Sunday. So yeah, this is the, obviously, title reveal trailer that I alluded to in my previous video which I assume is going to be a similar format to what we got for the 60th trailer. And we've got this really nice image of Hugh T peering out the TARDIS that I used on my thumbnail. Really, really nice stuff. It really looks like they're going all out with the marketing. Because we only had our first trailer a couple of weeks ago, was it? A week, two weeks ago, something like that? It wasn't too long ago. So they're really going for it. Obviously, Easter Sunday as well. We're getting a full trailer, which is very, very exciting. And yeah, alongside that, we're getting episode titles. In terms of episode title predictions, the two main ones I've heard at this point are The Devil's Chord and Space Babies, respectively, for episodes one and two. I also heard a rumor about Boom for Moffat's episode, just the word Boom exclamation mark. That's another one I heard. We'll see what comes to fruition. I've got no idea on any of the others. Let me know your suggestions down in the comments for things like the Regency era episode and like the Albion episode. I think the Albion episode could just be called Albion. I think that would make sense. But yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comments below on that. Very excited to see more footage. Obviously, I'll be doing a full breakdown of that as soon as we get it on Sunday, depending on, you know, what time it comes out. But yeah. Get keen for that because I'm sure we'll have much to discuss. We also heard a bit of Doctor Who news in the BBC's annual plan. So this is the thing that the BBC release every year to basically talk about how they've done that year. Doctor Who celebrates its 60th anniversary with over 9 million for the first anniversary episode. BBC described the upcoming run as a full season relaunch. We continue to grow commercial income to put more money on screen and commission high profile titles, e.g. Doctor Who, that bring us together and showcase the world class British creativity with productions that reflect and represent audiences and locations across the UK. So this is interesting, especially given the interview that Russell T Davis recently gave, basically saying that yes, the BBC is on their way out. It's quite interesting to see that the BBC obviously still views Doctor Who as an important asset to it. Obviously, I don't think Russell wants the BBC to go away, in fact, quite the contrary, but his predictions are obviously bleak for the corporation. So it's kind of an interesting reversal of the 80s scenario, if anything, where the 80s BBC didn't really see the value in Doctor Who and kind of cast it aside, whereas with Doctor Who now, it's kind of the reverse of where the BBC really see the value in it, and that's why they brought Russell T. Davis on, but... Doctor Who could grow beyond them. It's a really weird, like, interesting kind of reversal of roles there, but it's good to see that their plans for Doctor Who expand, and good to see that 9 million people tuned in for the Star Beast overall. Again, a very, very good figure, especially given recent TV numbers, despite what some people might have you believe. That's still very, very good going for this era of television. Obviously, it's not quite on the 50th level, but again, not much is these days. But still, a very, very good and respectable member. And as I say, it's nice to see that they are going to be focusing on growing commercial income. Hopefully that means more merch. We'll get into that in a sec. But yeah, interesting stuff nonetheless. On a slightly different end of the spectrum, we had this interview from Stephen Moffat, where he says, It's foolish to think Doctor Who's job is to reflect society. Do you want your television just to broadcast a grievance at your face? After much speculation, Stephen Moffat has returned to the fantastic world of Doctor Who, and it's safe to say that many fans are eager to see what will unfold in the new episode that he's slated to write. But of course, after an impressive tenure helming the BBC sci-fi from 2010 to 2017, there will be added expectation for the mysterious new episodes. Speaking with the University of Glasgow's Screenwriting Society, Moffat was asked about what it's been like to return to write on a show for a very similar, yet very different society, compared to when he first worked on R2. When asked about how he's found that, alongside changes in the way we view TV, but also in TV, and how we represent people in TV and Britain, Moffat said, 
Well, we are talking about a show that started in 1963 and hasn't changed that much. He continued, I don't know, I think you're slightly foolish to think it's your job to reflect society. I don't really think it is. I know people always say it is, but why? Do you want your television to broadcast a grievance at your face? Yes, you're right about everything. Here's your world. I don't think you ever... You just try to tell exciting stories. Doctor Who is very much Doctor Who, and I can assure you, having read quite a few of the new ones, that it's still that show. Tiny little details change, but basically he runs around the TARDIS and says, something's terribly wrong here, and sorts it out for a while, right? Then, blows everything up at the last minute. He added, I'm aware I'm the old geezer coming along to do Doctor Who, but that's alright. There's nothing wrong with that. There's also young people writing on this show. I don't think you've ever really been that engaged by that. Tell a story. It's not your job to reflect people's culture back at them. It really isn't. Moffat returns for Gatwa's second season for an episode that will be directed by BAFTA and Golden Globe nominated Julianne Robinson. And then, yeah, it basically just goes on to say his little kind of spiel from the official press announcement. So I have mixed feelings on it, because on the one hand, I get what he's trying to say. You don't want television to just be one homogenous voice where everyone agrees with everyone on everything. I do understand that, and I think it is important to show a wide variety of, of views on TV. I do think that is important. At the same time, though, I feel like with a TV show or a film or anything, really, I think it can benefit from seeing other perspectives, other cultures, things like that just to enrich the storytelling potential, if nothing else. So I do, to a certain extent, believe that reflecting society and different aspects of society is a good thing, but I also agree that it isn't the only thing the show is focused on, so I understand what he's trying to say. I don't think this is a case of him saying that Doctor Who shouldn't represent people. Indeed, I don't think that's true. He himself did it in his own era with Bill Potts and other such characters. But I think he's saying essentially that his priority is delivering a good story, which is a good priority to have. But it is quite interesting to see people say, you know, Stephen Moffat is like this super woke figure or whatever that is, that, you know, buzzword that all the right wing channels use. When in reality, this seems like a fairly, you know, middle of the road take to me. And, you know, in response to this video, I'll probably have some people saying, oh, you're being far too charitable to Stephen, this is not kind of the right take. And I'll probably have other people say, what do you mean it's good to reflect on the cultures and etc etc. So I'm probably not going to please either side with this, but I think I can understand both ends of the argument. I think it is good to reflect other cultures and enrich our understanding of other places equally. I think at the core of it, I want good Doctor Who, and I think that's what he's saying here. But I think you can have both. I think those two things can coexist together. That's my thoughts on this. Like I said, I'm probably not going to please anyone with this segment, but I thought it was an interesting topic. And, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below without going crazy, because I know this topic in particular is going to lead to, you know, much discussion. On a slightly lighter note, though, we have uh, this segment from the They Like to Watch podcast. I actually listened to this whole interview. It's available on Spotify and Apple Music and all, all the other podcasting apps. It's not got a video version yet, but they have posted a video version of this section where Russell reveals we will be getting a Beep the Meep plush, which is incredibly exciting. Let's give a listen. That Doctor Who experience lost a lot of money. It's like, uh. that's not a secret. That's that. It just did. I loved it. It was brilliant. It, was, it wasn't when I was on the show. It was so lavish. No wonder it lost money. So it's kind of once bitten twice shy it's like so it's not on your list we're gonna see, well we're gonna see how successful it becomes it's mm. like that's the other thing it's like if it, if it starts to get the kids watching if it starts to sell the toys if it starts to create a demand then it'll start to happen right now it's a difficult time for that uh, these early, early, signs are, early signs are good right no, early signs are great, great, great why don't you put out a meep um, plush toy and see how it does hold your breath what's that happening uh -huh. yeah. um, what am I looking for you can see it there. Come on. Very, very... Russell's showing slightly. us. Slightly. Yeah, you can see if you look very closely at his phone there, the Beep the Beep plush prototype. He's showing us uh, a, a, a prototype short... Beep. So yeah, he's very excited about that. Something I love about Russell that I think is underrated in the job of showrunners is that he doesn't just think about the writing aspect of Doctor Who, which is obviously the most important aspect, don't get me wrong, but he also has a good eye for 
merchandise and making the show successful. He says that if the kids start getting into it and we sell the toys and da 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 da, maybe it could lead to things like another Doctor Who experience. But I do find it interesting that he said once bitten, twice shy, which comes back to what I said in a previous video where I talked about how the Doctor experience lost a lot of money. This is also from that interview. So I hope that there is another Doctor experience at some point because. I loved the original. I mean, I lived in Cardiff. I went a ton of times. Absolutely loved it. One of my favourite things as a kid. But yeah, in terms of a meat plush, I'm very excited by the prospect of it. I saw some pictures of a prototype floating around Twitter. I'm not sure where they came from, but allegedly this is what it looks like. Obviously, there was also a glimpse of it at the Toy Fair as well, at the character options booth. So this definitely looks like it's happening which I'm very excited to see. We also had a recent interview from Al Diwa where he says that, yes, more merchandise is on the way, which is an incredibly, incredibly good sign. And again, just going to show the contrary to what a lot of people want you to believe, they're gearing back up for merchandise, which implies that, yes, retailers are interested again, which implies that, yes, it is becoming more successful again. All the evidence points to that. Obviously, we'll see how season one does, but... It's looking like it's going in the right direction right now. But that's about all I have time for for this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a like, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you later.